Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor presented by Prophetic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress WP Query Beginner Tutorial and this is our part 3. In this video session guys, we will see about category parameter to WP Query. And also guys, if you are a beginner to the channel, then please don't forget to subscribe. Keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about WordPress WP Query Beginner Tutorial. So basically guys, in our previous video sessions miss part 1 and part 2, we have covered our standard loops and as well as we have seen about that how can we use our author parameter in our standard loop. So inside this video session guys, we will see that how can we pass our category parameter to filter our created post along with our category IDs or category name. So just back to editor. So basically this is the code that we did so far. Here as we can see that this is a conditional array in which we have passed two condition and now this is the condition used by our WP query and by the help of the query instance we have created our loop by going through this loop actually we have printed all the posts that we have created to our WordPress setup. So basically what we want from this video session suppose we have five categories and inside that five categories we have created our 200 or 300 posts. So we want that by specifying any specific category inside condition we will get only all the records of that category. Right now it will give all the records that we have created. It is not dependent on any category so far inside this condition. So we want that bypassing a specific category inside this array. We want to retrieve all the posts along with that category. First of all to understand the condition inside this array we have to create some of the posts according with our post IDs or category IDs. So just I am going to post section inside this post section guys we have a column called categories inside this category section as we can see all the posts right now belongs to uncategorized section so we want to create some of the more categories inside this list so just back to category section and let's create a category something called wordpress so let's say wordpress so again if i'm not going to pass any slug inside that just i'm clicking on add new category so successfully as we can see that we have added WordPress category inside this list. Also let's create that PHP framework. If I again click on add new category as we go on the list it will add it automatically. So just back to all posts section. Right now all these posts belongs to uncategorized section. So again I am clicking on add new. Let's create another post let's say that. WordPress theme development. Again I am going to go my Chrome extension. Let me copy all the dummies contained for this page for this post. Paste it here and also let's choose a category for this post. Now I am going to select call WordPress category and click on publish. So successfully we are on the way to create our first post inside WordPress category. So let's create another one so let's say that WordPress plugin development. Let me paste dummy content for this post, scroll down and let me say that WordPress is a category so publish again. Now let's create some of the posts from PHP framework category. So add new and let's say that Laravel framework. These are the dummy contents for this post and click on PHP framework and now click on publish. So successfully we have created another post along with our PHP framework category. Let's create another one. So let's say that it will be something cake PHP. These are the dummy contents. Scroll down PHP framework and publish it again. So if we move to our all posts section as we can see that we have created multiple posts inside our post section but this time we have created under different different categories. These are the two posts inside PHP framework. These are the two posts created our WordPress category and now rest of all inside uncategorized section. So question is that right now we have used our standard WP query loop. So if we go to our front end page, reload this page we are getting all the posts that we have created so far to our WordPress setup. So as I scroll down, as we can see that WordPress plugin development, theme development, admin 3, admin 3 and many more posts, all the posts it means that we have created to our WordPress setup. So we don't 
actually want something like this we want that we want some special categories if we supply to our condition on the behalf of that category actually we want to filter all the result set so how can we achieve that so just back to editor let's say that we want to retrieve all the posts that we have created inside our WordPress so if we back to browser suppose we want to retrieve all the results set according to that condition so in that condition guys we have to pass a category ID so we want category ID so if you back to database table inside our WP terms all the categories so far we have created all the actually stored inside WP terms table as we can see that here it has an ID called 1, 2 and 3. 2 is related with our WordPress. So if we want to retrieve all the posts along with our WordPress category, we want to supply term ID 2 in specific condition. So just back to editor. Now we have to supply the condition. So basically we want to retrieve all the posts that we have created inside our post category 2. So if I save this page, go to browser, reload this section. As we can see that here we have only two posts called WordPress plugin development and WordPress theme development. This is because we have supplied our category ID inside this condition array. If we change this value from 2 to 1, it means that this is for uncategorized. If you go to WP terms table, this is for uncategorized. Suppose if we have changed it to 3, it means PHP framework. Save this page, reload this browser. Now all the posts that is Laravel framework, cake PHP framework, these all posts belongs to our PHP framework category. So this is the parameter guys actually we have to supply inside condition array to get the specific post related with our specific category. So now what we have to do if suppose we want to retrieve the result set of our PHP framework category as well as WordPress means we have two different categories and we want to retrieve all the posts from these two categories. So how, have we, how can we pass the IDs? So for that we have to just make our single quotes or double quotes. Inside these double quotes guys we have to pass our category ID by separating with comma. So 2 for the WordPress and 3 for our PHP framework. So if we save this page just back to browser, reload this page. Now as we can see that we have post called cake PHP, Laravel framework, these belongs to our PHP framework category. Scroll down, WordPress plugin development, WordPress theme development, these are from our WordPress category. So we have retrieved successfully from these two categories by passing comma separated values. Also we have alternative way instead of this comma separated string value we have actually passed inside this array. So let's say that we want to fetch all the details from our category ID 2 and 3 but this time guys we have to pass called underscore underscore in and also we have to use called category full name here. So this is something like that category underscore underscore in and these are the values that we have supplied in array format. This means that term ID 2 and 3 related our post. So if we save this page, go to browser, reload this page. Now as we can see that our expected result has remained same. So this is another way to pass multiple category ID to get multiple posts from our database table. Now in a specific condition guys, let's say that we don't want to see any post related with our category 2. So how can we restrict that? So let's make comment first. We have to include something called category or inside double quotes, let's say cat. Inside this cat, we have to pass our category ID. So we want that we don't want any post with our category ID to means from our WordPress category. So just we have to pass our term ID and we have to add a value something called minus. This means minus two. We are actually removing all the post of our WordPress category from our post section. So just save this page go to browser, reload this section. So all we have the post called cake PHP, Laravel framework and so on. But inside this result sets guys, we have no post actually belongs to our WordPress category. That's why because we have actually ignored or we have removed the category 2 ID from the list. Also we have there is an alternative way to pass category ID in array format. Suppose we don't want if I just make comment of this line. And let's say that category underscore underscore let's say not in we have to just pass let's say array 
if suppose we have passed call value 3 it means that the category not belongs to our array means our php framework so if i save this page go to browser reload this page all the posts we are getting from our WordPress category and our uncategorized category. There is no post relating to our PHP frameworks. This is why because we have removed that category from the list. So these are the possible ways guys by specifying these conditions inside this condition array we can filter out all the results inside our WP query result set. Along with these conditions guys we have also another condition to filter our result on the behalf of category name. So something let's say that we know actually the category name but we don't actually know about the category ID. So how can we fetch a result set along with this category name. So first of all let's say that this is the parameter category name. Inside this parameter we have to pass the category name. So just back to database table. Here is our slug called uncategorized WordPress and PHP framework. So we have to pass the category slug inside this value. So we want that PHP framework. So just I'm going to copy, go to editor and I am pasting inside this category name. So this is category slug. On the behalf of this slug we are going to filter this results only for our PHP framework. So just save this page, go to browser, reload this section. And now as, as we can see that all the posts actually relating with our only PHP framework category. So successfully guys by the help of this video session we actually understood about the specifying of category condition inside our conditional array so that we can filter out our post results into our front end screen. So if you have any query in this video session guys then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day.